And a three. I'm not sure what Miami was doing getting back defensively, but that's the one guy you cannot afford. Played in 21 games before his season ended with his dad's death. How about that block shot by Khalid Moore? 47 points the last three games for Usher after he's been in a little bit of a scoring drought. Parham again, and Brooks says that's enough of that. And a familiar whistle of Jim Larinaga. You can hear that as well. Even when there aren't folks in the stands, he wanted a particular play call, and boy, did that work. Wong all the way down the lane, scores with the left. Isaiah Wong on purpose to promote your team. I just think someone probably told him that, and he believed it. I'll say men lie, women lie, numbers Dang don't. Jack. Fouled by Bubba Parm, who had more fouls in two years at VMI, I bet, than Steph Curry. <laughs> I mentioned that to Coach L this morning. He said, oh, yeah, we recruited Khalid. Had him down for a visit. He said, probably the nicest mother I've ever met on a recruiting trip. Usher the dunk. Georgia Tech shooting 67% in this half, and that'll go up. As Usher scores on a high percentage shot. He has 12 points for the game. Alvarado to the bucket. That's not typically the way they play. Augusti, good legs in that shot, and a three to cut the deficit in half by Bubba Parham, but he's slow to get up and limping a bit. And for the moment, it's five on four. Wong joined the fray, but he was slow to get down the court, and it's McGusty burying another three. Leap by Gack, and it's a bad pass! Alvarado barely saved it. What a play! And he has it back. And he has Usher all alone! Alvarado with the save of the ball and perhaps the game. Hope they take it away from him. And it's a three that won't go for McCusty, and that's it. So, a harrowing ending for the fourth seeded Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets.